Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, I am wishing and welcoming all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the fast and feast session. Today we are in day 17. I hope and believe our outward man is perishing and inward man is getting renewed and getting strength day by day. Actually, you know why we are doing this? What is the reason behind it? The answer is we need to know more about our God. What God is teaching us to lead our life. Knowing a person is not a easy task. Following him as a disciple is a hard. Saying that we have to discipline ourselves to become a true disciple of Jesus Christ. In 1 Corinthians 2, 9.27 says, Discipline my body and bring it to a subjection. Subjection is bringing in, in control. Today's scripture say in is Matthew 15.11, is our meditation it says whatever goes inside the mouth is defiled man but what comes out of the mouth mouth is defiled person in the scripture we see it talks about control and guarding our mouth physically we see mouth contains tooth contains lips tongue and teeth in human body most of the organs are bilateral nature and mouth, tongue, and some of them are unilateral nature. There are two actions mouth and tongues can do. It takes things inside and leaves to the stomach, like food and drink, it gives more energy. In other words, it produces noise or sound. It's like a bird. Actually, it's a gateway. Job 33 and 2 reads like this. I open my mouth my tongue speaks. Speaking is an action, it producing a word. Actually, word comes from the heart. Controlling our mouth is controlling your word. Word is a powerful weapon. It can build or it destroy. Look, Jesus is our role model. God always uses his word to build, to praise, construct, teach, and pray, and comfort others. In the beginning, God used the word to create the world. The universe he called the light by word and so on Ephesians 4 29 says don't use fall or abuse language that everything you say be good and helpful so that your word will be an encouragement to those who hear them as I said before word comes from the heart it keeps your heart clean and unwanted things bad thoughts you can control your mouth keep your place in your heart for God. It will change your life and change your world. God will speak through your mouth. He will anointing your mouth with his words. Psalm 109 30 says, I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Mouth is to praise God. Psalm 66 17 says, I cried to him with my mouth and he is praised over with my tongue. And Proverbs 21-23 says, Whoever guards his mouth and tongue keeps his soul from troubles. Guarding mouth is otherwise called watching over your word. In Romans 12-12 also says, don't, don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Like whatever we avoid evil, but you can overcome with your good things. Like, doing good, praising God, singing and thanksgiving, thanking Him in your heart, it is like your pearl forming. You know like pearl, how the pearl forms in the, the shell is like an external tissue creating a small tiny tiny amount of fluid. It repeatedly many times in doing that, so it producing a pearl. Like that, if whatever we thinking a good and praising, singing, thanksgiving in your heart, little by little, it makes like a, in due course, it makes like making a pearl like you, your words has to be like be pearl, it's be valuable in words. Proverb 15 7 says, Lips of the wise disperse knowledge. So we have to speak very wisely, speak polite, humble, and softly. As we child of God, we call to do good, always. Chronicles 2, 12, 14 reads, The king Rehoboth 
did evil because he did not prepare his heart to seek God. So you always seek the Lord first. So prepare your heart to him. So it's like in the big ship also a parable says in James, such a big ship controlled by a small ruder, like our such a big our a human body house also controlled by a tongue. The great forest is kills by a fire, like a tongue is also fire. Okay, Proverbs 15 7 says, Lips of the wise disperse knowledge. So speak wisely always, speak polite, humble, and softly. As a child of God, we call to do good always. 2 Chronicles 12 14 reads, King Rehoboam did evil because he did not prepare his heart to seek Lord. So seek him and prepare your heart for him. James 3 4 uh, given a parable of a ship. The big ship is controlled by a small ruder. So tongue is a little member of the body but boasts great things. How big forest but it little fire kindles. Tongue is like a fire. Use it where, whenever it needs otherwise it will spoil your your life or maybe your body. Like in 1 Corinthians 6.19 says about our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you which have from God. So don't spoil your body and using and thinking about wrong things and bad thoughts. It's keeping a Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit teaches and what what we have to speak and every moment of our life. So the Holy Spirit is a comforter and counselor, is advocate and helper and strength. So guide you to teach and control your mouth, help to guard your words. So whatever you prepare your heart for a God, give more time to God in and praising Him and thanking Him. God will lead and control your mouth and words.